Hello everybody, I hope you're all having a good night, staying safe. Um, this is just a wee update to let everybody know my ayahuasca documentary is ready and good to go. It will be released on my YouTube channel this Sunday um, at 10am. My third documentary in two years. This one's different from the rest, but very powerful. A very... It's a fucking weird... It's weird to explain, but it's... Um, a very powerful experience. As human beings, I believe we're always searching. We always want more. There's always something I miss. We can get all the materialism, all the bullshit, all the external stuff, but it doesn't really fulfil us because the novelty always wears off after a couple of days. But the ayahuasca, they say when you drink it, it's a shortcut to happiness. Do I believe in it? I'm still unsure. I was going in a great place, but I still had my trauma, my demons, my pain. I've lost fucking countless family members and friends to murder, suicide, overdose. So, I know struggle, I know pain, and we're in a kind of fucked up environment just now. A lot of people are struggling. But, life is a beautiful thing. People can change the way they think. People can change the way they feel just with some consistency. And distance yourself from negativity. The losers, the bullshitters, the naysayers, the people who don't fucking believe in you. Get these fuckers out of your life because they're not good for you. People who think they know it all, Fuck them, trust me, because the more successful you become as well, the people who you know through life, these cunts become your fucking haters. Because what happens is when you start doing well, you start shining a light in their missed opportunities, why they can't change, why they can't do those things. So it's not that they're bad, but people just get annoyed and envious because everybody's want a wee bit more out of life. But the ayahuasca kind of thing, it was nuts in the jungle with 70 different people from all around the world from the ages of 18 to 80, kind of searching, everybody's kind of wanting that miracle, there's people there who were in a great place, but they were still wanting more, with ayahuasca, is it a shortcut, I don't know, personally I believe everything can be changed within, I believe we can make the changes and the sacrifices within, I believe we can make those, make yourself better, and everybody can, I always say it, but if you want change, become the change yourself, it's as simple as that. Become a better person yourself. And it's took me the last five years to self-development, to work on myself, to change the way they think and I feel. I stopped drinking drugs, gambling for two years and absolutely fucked it. Went mental again for a year because I thought I was strong enough. Had one drink, ripped the whole ceiling down. Not just one addiction, it ends up about three or four or five. But when you're in a bad place, you mask it. And alcohol sales have been up 40% since the lockdown the last three months. For me, people's going to come out of lockdown even worse because they don't want to go back to work. They're stuck in a rut again. But you can make the changes and sacrifices slowly but surely. Change isn't easy or else everyone would do it. But it can be fucking done, trust me. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so the Ayahuasca documentary this Sunday. I want to give a shout out to my team because this is our third documentary we've smashed out in two years along with over 100 podcasts, no backing, no funding, people laughing, telling you it wouldn't be good enough, this and that, but we've got documentaries on Amazon Prime, hopefully Netflix, we've created one of the biggest podcasts in the UK, so shout out to my men, um, Gordon Campbell, Stephen Pettigrew, and Nick Quinn, who backed me, because I'm a pain in the ass as well, and I'm a workhorse, everything we've created has just been vision and work ethic, this is a guy for the streets, the scheme, um, who's wanting more out of life, who's wanting to fucking leave a legacy, and listen, I'm bang on course to do something very special, and I believe I am. And this is from everybody laughing, from all the main producers on the TV telling you your stuff won't be good enough, you've got criminal records, you've got a past. Fuck them. The only person that can fail in your life is yourself. And this is, I mean, I'll try to be inspirational or motivational, but I know the struggle is real. Every day I'm in a good place, I'm drink free, I'm drug free, I'm gambling free, but my demons are still there. I still battle every fucking day. Because it's easy to get cut back up in it. It's easy to slip back into those slippery slopes. Trust me. And you know yourself. The people who are watching. They, everybody's struggling. Everybody I speak to. The majority of people are struggling. Happiness I believe is, is a great thing. But it's not a thing that happens 24-7. Your real test in life is when you are struggling. When you've lost somebody that you loved. Or you've lost your job. That's when you find out who you are as a person. And change again. It's, it can be done. No matter if you're in a fucked up relationship, a job that you hate, but don't let fear control your life. Don't let fear stay in that job that you hate for an extra 10, 20, 30 years and then you sit at 60, 70 with regret. Roll the fucking dice, man. Roll the dice because life is a beautiful thing if you take chances. 
it's a lonely journey as well, making those chances and sacrifices, trust us. But, listen, I get a lot of support as well from a lot of people. Um, but there's a lot of fucking haters as well. The more successful you come, the more hate there comes. But you learn to deal with that. You learn to understand everybody's struggling. So that's just a reflection of them. And so no matter what people say, fuck them basically. Because that's all I test. And you find out who the true people are that support you through the way. So I know i got a lot of love on this. So I appreciate that. So for anybody struggling, just keep believing. For me, what I do is I've got affirmations in the morning. And always remember, there's a man called Les Brown I used to listen to. And he used to say, people's opinion of you doesn't have to be a reality. Very powerful man. I used to listen to that stuff four or five years ago when not really anybody in Scotland or the UK really knew who he was then. But um, it kind of worked. I've done a lot of self-help. The Power of Now was a very powerful book. Um, Louise Hay, How to Heal Your Life. Outwitting the Devil was a very powerful book. I spent a lot of time in the self-help section. But listen, it's working. And as much as I can talk a lot of shit, also actions speak louder than words. I'm still doing it. I'm living it. I'm travelling the world making documentaries and I'm producing the biggest podcasts in the UK which are watched by millions each month so I'm doing it but every day it doesn't matter how many subscribers I get how many views I get it only lasts for maybe you get a buzz for 10 seconds then fucking disappears again you must keep raising the bar progression progression's key keep raising the bar keep living your dreams and um, success isn't easy but it can be done trust us I'm still on the path I believe I've got a good few years left in us to keep creating and doing what we do more documentaries more podcasts the biggest podcasts in the world i believe some of my podcasts are hitting a million views so i'm clearly on the right path i must stay on the path as well the thing is when you're doing well in life everybody a lot of fuckers waiting the sidelines as well waiting for you to fuck up so you must stay true to you distance yourself all the negative stuff write it all down whether it's drink drugs gambling anger frustration Consistency is key. They say it takes 21 days to break a habit and 21 days to create a new one. You can change the neural pathways in your brain. So if you do something consistently new for 21 days, what happens is neurons in the brain which fire together, wire together, and that creates that memory and repeats that cycle. So the 60,000 thoughts you've got today, if that's negative, depressing, you can change that. You can change that. But you must do it consistently because everybody feels good for two or three days, but they slip back into old habits. And that's the fucking problem because comfort, no matter if it's an abusive relationship, a, a job that you hate, family members that you hate, you slip back into it because it's your comfort, it's all you know. But it can be done, it can be changed. So listen, my po uh, documentary's out this Sunday, the Ayahuasca Experience, very powerful. Some amazing stories from people all over the world, from heroin addicts, cancer patients, people who were suicidal, people who've had guns in their mouth, ready to kill themselves. And they just wanted that bit more, the last chance, the last bit of them. So they tried ayahuasca. Is it a shortcut to happiness? I still don't know, but it is what it is. And in life, we've got to roll the dice. So I've took fucking many drugs in the past. So it was a few cups of ayahuasca to see where that would take us. But I feel good. I'm in a good place. I'm doing good things. So maybe it is a shortcut to happiness, but... I'll let you guys judge that on Sunday when you watch the documentary. So I'll leave the link for the documentary at the top of this. Um, click the link and um, get a notification when it goes live on Sunday. But listen, everybody have a great night. If Also, sorry, I'll be doing a walking talk group also when the lockdown's over. Me and my big friend Barry. Um, from people from everywhere, come, we'll do a walk. Um, it's not much structure to it just now, but... And mingle with different people, um, just talking, just getting out and opening up to people. Listen, you'll feel a lot better. So this group will start, we're hoping, maybe July, August. So keep your eyes open for the Walk and Talk group. So, um, yeah, another powerful thing that we can be doing. So listen, everybody, have a great night and I'll speak to you soon. God bless.